Well, it ain't cheap being poor. I work hard for my pay, and they take it away. Like they don't care. I got a family to feed. Hello. So today I've got Frugal Friday, or Fergal Friday, if you're cameraman, you can't spell things properly. Anyway, it was appropriate. Fergal, frugal, same difference. Okay, so today for Frugal Friday, I've got uh, Frugal Affordable Sunscreen Products. Everyone needs a good sunscreen, the only real anti-aging product that exists. Oh, hi, look at that little leg. Oh, it's adorable. Anyway, so if you can find a good affordable sunscreen, it's really the best and only real anti-aging product. So I've got some very affordable sunscreens that I love, and they're all under $20 or so. Lincoln is assaulting cameraman right now with a big hug. He loves to give hugs. So, Okay, so first of all, I've got the B-Lab Matcha Hydrating Sunscreen SPF 50. Uh, 50 milliliters retails around $11. Um, fragrance free. It uses five filters, chemical filters, uh, no fragrance in it. Uh, it does contain some denatured alcohol, but it's really wonderful. It applies just like a lotion. Um, and I'll include the link to it, but it's really just so wonderful. So I'm really enjoying this one and it's so affordable. So anyway, okay. So we've got that one next up. We've got the hero cosmetics Forest shield SPF 30. Uh, it says 50 milliliters retails for about $19.99, although Hero Cosmetics have sales, so it's worth shopping around a little bit. Um, Fragrance-free, it's a mineral sunscreen. It's really geared towards acne-prone skin. It has a little bit of a green tint to it, uh, but for a white, for a uh, mineral sunscreen, the cast of it is barely noticeable. So um, anyway, so really wonderful product and very affordable. You know what, these are both the same amount of milliliters, but this one just looks so much larger. I don't know why, it just does, but anyway. Okay, next up we've got Black Girl Sunscreen. They've got their SPF 30, they also have their kids version. These are both uh, chemical sunscreens, no white cast. They're both fragrance free. Uh, retails, this one retails for around $15, $16 or so. And about the same for this one. They also have a matte version for oily or acne prone skin, but these are really wonderful. Literally no white cast and very easy to use and affordable. And the bottle's gigantic, 90 milliliters. Let's think three ounces or so. Yeah, right around there. So it's a lot of product for very affordable price. Okay, next up, going back to the mineral ones, we've got the Australian Gold uh, Botanicals Sunscreen, uh, SPF 50. This one is a mineral sunscreen. It comes in several different tints. The tint I use, what is tint? I think this one is the light version, uh, but this one's 90 milliliters, three ounces, retails for about $14, no fragrance in it. It seems to work well for a lot of people that try it, and the tint of it is just makes it super forgiving and also helps, since it's mineral, it doesn't have a white cast because it's tinted. And our love bug is signing off. So there we go. So a really nice tint. And it just gives skin a nice little polish. Nice little pretty polish finished. Okay, so $14. Next up, we've got the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Sunscreen, SPF 30. It's a liquid sunscreen. It's uh, mineral tinted sunscreen, fragrance free. And this one seemed to work very well for a lot of people. Well, this one doesn't have a, a, a tint in it. For some reason, I thought it had a tint. But anyway, there we go. But it smooths into skin really nicely. Uh, just a zinc oxide based sunscreen. Uh, so this is 30 milliliters, 1.7 ounces, retails for $14. So another nice one. Uh, next up, we've got the Kose Sun Cut. Uh, so they have this size. They also have a giant size version, 160 milliliters for $23. And it's got a pump on it. This is the smaller version of it. Chemical sunscreen, fragrance free, very affordable. And if you want to use this on your face and body, you can get the large size with the pump, which is really wonderful and very convenient. No fragrance in it. Uh, so these are my main picks. I've got three bonus products. Uh, the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Watery Sun Gel. Really wonderful. Filled with antioxidants. Lots of filters in this one. Really good one. One of the few K-Beauty sunscreens that stood up to the test of time when everything else was uh, crumbling down. So this one is really worth checking out. Uh, Verdio, I know they are reformulating and making their new sunscreen or the Omi brand. 
uh, but I really love uh, their line, this line of sunscreens. I think they're like $10. So they've got this gel version and an essence version. And they also have some new ones coming out. Uh, coming out very, very soon if they're not already out uh, as, as as we speak. And then last but not least, bonus version, the Biore UV Light Up Essence. A lot of people love their aqua sunscreen. It does have fragrance in it, but it applies just like a lotion. And if you can get past the fragrance, it's a holy grail product for a lot of people and very, very affordable. So these are my favorite Frugal Friday sunscreens. Next week, I'll be back with five brands with very affordable products. Uh, to help us all save a little bit of money uh, with everything else going on in the world. So anyway, interesting hearing from you guys if you have a frugal sunscreen or a non-frugal sunscreen. I guess, in my opinion, sunscreen is one of the few things that are worth splurging on because it is one of the few things that really is anti-aging. So if you're going to splurge on one thing, make it a sunscreen or just a good moisturizer. So anyway, love hearing from you guys. Stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.